Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. On a rather quiet day in FIFA Ultimate Team, I know you guys already know about the situation that went down today. I don't need to talk about it too much. You guys were on Twitter probably. You saw what people were talking about. This is what we got today for content, the Xbox Challenge, which um, a lot of people were not happy about, myself included. Um, I don't want to dwell too long on that. You know, we've already had our time to, to talk about that and whatever. Um, but I want to talk about what we could see today. We're going to move and push past that. Although that, you know, is uh, it's it sucks basically that we kind of have something like that that is just uh, not talked about. We don't have a lot of information about. And honestly, it just seems like they kind of just dropped the ball so far on this promo in terms of content, um, which is really disappointing because this is like one of the biggest, I've been saying this, this is one of the biggest content drops and promotions of the year. And, and we get an SBC for a kit and a, and a player's pack today. So that was a bit unfortunate. Um, and hopefully that never happens again. But today I want to talk about what we could see. We saw one of these earlier in the week. And according to the content schedule that EA has sort of been following, we're going to see a Premier League TOTS guarantee SBC today on Tuesday for FIFA Ultimate Team. Now today I think is the last shot that we could get upgrades as well. As well. Some people think that it's, you know, it'll be too much content for one day if EA drops the guaranteed EPL SBC and if they drop um, the league upgrades or 81 plus packs. I think it's very doable. I mean, if they're going to see the outrage that the community has put forth today, it has been outrageous. You have people turning off their streams um, because th there's nothing to do on the game, which um, it, it's just crazy that we have nothing new to do on this game um, besides um, do a, an SBC for a kit. Now, obviously, I know we have weekly objectives that are out. We can work on getting the Digne, work on getting the Declan Rice um, and the Gomis. But other than that, it's just been very underwhelming so far. But I want to take a look at this Premier League SBC, talk about possible requirements last minute before that goes up today. Obviously, that SBC is going to be coming here in a few hours. Um, and then we'll talk through some market movements that we could see because of that as well. So I want to take a look. Actually, we'll go back to my transfer list here for a second. As you guys know, last night, I think I put it in my video, I was looking at buying a lot of TOTS cards. These are the ones that I have selling right now, and I'm actually taking some big time losses on these cards um, just because it seems like nobody went out to try to buy these cards and try them this week um, during the week, which is really crazy because last week and a common trend in years past has been these cards um, hit a low on Sunday night and they rebounded into Monday and into Tuesday a little bit because people were trying them out and it's natural. Um, and on PS, they didn't really, they rebounded more on PS than, than they did on Xbox, but they dropped really low last night on Sunday night. I thought it was buying at literally the lowest price I could possibly get. And a lot of these uh, meta Premier League cards that I got, you see I have some Suns, some Agueros, Alexander-Arnold, Lacazette. Um, a lot of these guys, they honestly just went down or they stayed the same. Alexander-Arnold was a huge one that took a massive hit. He's like 500k flat right now on Xbox, which is crazy. After he was 650 all weekend, I bought it 550, 560 because it was a deal at the time. Now I'm taking, you know, I'm taking a 60k loss on two of two of those cards right there, trying to get some lazy buyers. Um, a lot of these other cards I am selling at break even, um, and then losing on tax, basically where I'm at on that. So that that was really disappointing for me to see as well. But I think that just kind of plays into how the hype has been going. Uh, for this team of the season and how we've just how this team of the season has been it's really just been not very hype at all not a ton of stuff to do and that's just causing people to sell cards and and not play this game which is very very unfortunate so today we're going to get some more excitement though i mean regardless of however whatever is going on if we do get the league upgrade packs today the repeatable upgrades that's what i mean when i say those um we are you know it's not set in stone if ea does not drop a guaranteed tots sbc today um, <laughs> I don't even want to go on Twitter. I don't think I want to know what's going to happen, but I do think that SBC will drop today. I think that's almost a guarantee. Um, so I'm trying to get the cards out on my transfer list that you saw. I'm trying to get those cards out here very soon because they're going to drop even further. People are going to sell these cards kind of like a, a mini panic sell right before the, those SBC would drop because they know that, hey, people are going to be packing this card on the game and it could drop the card price. 
um, of, of these cards, and I, w I would expect that. So leading up until 6 p.m. UK today, I think you're, you're going to see a little bit of a drop on some of these cards. Not huge. You'll have to monitor it on a per-card basis. Um, but you could see a drop in some of these cards, and it might be one of the lowest points that they get during this promo, either today or Thursday, in terms of how much panic sell happens today before the guaranteed SBC, and if there is a... Um, a repeatable upgrade SBC that is released today. I think you could see some of these cards hit really, really low prices. Now, a few of them on the lower range, like Fernandinho, uh, Laporte, Robertson, Alexander Arnold, and Wijnaldum, even Ederson as well. Some of those guys that are on the lower range, I don't know how much lower they can actually go. I mean, if you compare Fernandinho to another, you know, we're looking at Fernandinho right here. 80 pace, 83 shot, 90 and everything else except for dribbling. Really, really solid CDM. If you compare him up to Fabinho, um, so 80, 83, and 93, he's got better stats than Fabinho does, and Fabinho is still 440,000 coins. Now, I understand this is a live card, um, so that adds some value to it, and he's a little bit more meta in game, but the Fernandinho card... Um, has definitely better stats than this one and if you're seeing this card still maintain its value at 440k It really makes me feel like this card is a little bit undervalued at 360 So if you would see this card on Xbox hit like 330 today or on Thursday, I think that's a huge buy I think this card would rebound back to 400 or you know at least 380 390 on Xbox Maybe 425 400 on PS depending on how far they go down this weekend I think the rebound would be pretty massive on a card like this because he's so linkable and he's cheap. He honestly is very cheap. 350k for a card with these kind of stats at this point in the game where people just spend a ton of FIFA points on the game. Um, people have a lot of coins right now. They're doing SBCs. Well, I'll show you the proof of that in a second. But people have a lot of coins in this game right now. Um, so they're going to have the ability to go out and buy a player like Fernandinho very easily. Uh, in their team and especially with the white album I like him because the triangles you can make obviously you can put him at center mid very good card Hullet gang Undervalued as well for his st statistics and you can match him up with Alexander Arnold and Van Dyke A lot of people already have some version of untradeable Van Dyke in their club So that's a very easy triangle you can make out of that But again, I said I was gonna mention how I could tell that people were doing SBCs today um, in the past couple of days since we're not getting content we talked about this before and, and you know This is something that happens on the market all the time when we don't have content and stuff going on in the game People do SBCs because SBCs are always out there sitting People want something to do on the game and SBCs give them something to do and it works in EA's favor because it sucks coins This is also perfectly working into EA's favor heading into today's guaranteed uh, Premier League Tots SBC because in my mind that SBC is going to be 84 to 86 rated and require one to two team of the seasons. It all just kind of depends on how EA is feeling and how EA wants to value this SBC. That's really how I see it coming down uh, today. 86 rated players. Alexandro is your cheapest one at 19k. Most of them are at 20,000 coins. That's up like almost 4,000 coins a card from what they were before lightning rounds this weekend, before we got the Firmino SBC and everything like that. Um, so those cards are up a lot. 85s are up a lot. They're like 12,000 coins per, 13,000 per card. Those were 8K earlier this week. So a lot of these cards are up. If you invested in them, you're probably making some good money, but I would sell after the SBC comes out because if you think, if this SBC is, you need a TOTS player and you need an 85 or an 86 rated squad, people are gonna go bananas for that SBC. I mean, people across the board, you're going to have people that only have 150,000 coins. They're going to be scraping and trying to do that SBC because you give them a chance to pack some of these cards in the game. I mean, they're going to go all out to try to get one of these cards. Now we know everybody's going to pack one of three players. You're going to get Wijnaldum, Madison, or Doherty. And if you don't get any of these three, consider yourself insanely lucky. Probably one of like 10 people who's going to get Wijnaldum, Madison, uh, or Doherty. So just, you know, it's going to be a roll of the dice, as it always is with packs. It's going to be an interesting thing to watch. But um, it's going to be a, an SBC and a pack that everybody wants to do, just because of the fact that it's uh, you have a chance at packing all of these other guys who are so high rated and so highly sought for in the game. Everybody's going to go and do it, especially if it's 150, 200,000 coins. 
everybody is going to go do it because you're going to have people that are trying to pack. That's a Bamiyang card, and some people will. But most people are going to get the Doherty, you know, those bottom three, maybe throw Ederson in there as well um, as kind of the lowest values on this SBC. But in preparation for this SBC, I don't know how much more you can do. I mean, if they do release it today and they don't release any other sort of pack supply, um, I think you, you're going to have to kind of buy these golds right now. Even if you're buying an 86 at 20K, I think you're going to want to do that because this SBC will only be live for two days or three days uh, before it goes away. And these gold cards are going to crack up in price. Um, I don't even know if I crack up in price. What does that mean? Um, they're going to sky in price. There we go. At least for that first hour, um, I think you're going to see 86 rated players hit like the footmiss range of like 25, 26,000 coins in that first hour. If that SBC comes out and it's 85 rated or 86 rated, you're, the 86s and the 85s are going to fly because people uh, are just going to do, they're going to do this SBC, even if it's not repeatable, just the sheer amount of people that are going to go do that SBC because of the reward that it will bring is going to be tons and tons of people. Same thing with the 87s and the 88s. A lot of these are up. They haven't risen a ton. The 88s are only like up 3 to 4K a card. Uh, some of them a little more. And the 89s haven't moved too much as well. But the 87s will definitely go up in price as well. So hopefully you guys have already stocked your clubs. If you haven't, um, you know, I would say possibly just go out now and stock the players in your club. You're going to be doing the SBC. If you're stocking the players in your club, you're going to do it. I don't think it's a thing where, yo, I can stock the players in my club and make coins off of this. This is a situation where you're just going to want to stock the club with high rated, as you can see, like I have done here. Just stock your club with the high rated. Um, I don't have a ton. I have a lot of 84s, but not a lot of 86s. I have a lot of 87s. So stock the club by one of each um, if you are planning to do on that SBC. The one thing where you could make some money is team of the season cards. Now, depending on how many they do, they do require, um, and they have basically given out TOTS cards for free. You know, last week the Onana SBC, or the objective was very easy. All those people that got Onana and Sissoko, they have those in their club, and not to mention the very easy um, EPL, the EFL SBC and the Saudi League SBC. But regardless, some of these are going to go up because people are just going to get on the game and do this SBC. Some people also might have multiple accounts. This won't be a lot of people, but I'm sure there's people out there who have multiple accounts and they're going to try this SBC on multiple accounts. Now, a guy like Onana, we'll go back over here to Footbin to look at his card, actually. Um, because I want to show you what happened to his card the last time we got this SBC. When he was actually in packs at the time, he went from 34k to 39k on Wednesday, the day after that SBC came out. He was still in packs at this time when we're viewing the graph. He's down here again at 33,000 coins. You just saw me here. That's why I've been stocking them up this week. You can get him on bid. He is. He has a lot of. of he had a. He has a lot of supply. Like if you compare price and look on the market, you can tell that he does have a decent amount of supply on this market. But he's a player out of packs, and I really think that this card could boom. You know, maybe pick a couple of them up if you can get them down towards the 35k range um, or lower on Xbox and on PS. I'm not entirely sure about his price, but I would say about the same thing. If he was around that lower 35,000 coin range, he would be a good pickup because he is out of packs. That's where I really like that one. And if you want to check the cheapest players at any time that are team of the seasons, you can click on that cheapest players by rating drop down. Click on the team of the season card, apply filters. And boom, you can see the lowest rated card for all these team of the seasons. Now, some of them are up. This Al Barak, Barak guy, the 85 rated, he was like 13, 14K yesterday because of the SBC. Now he's 16,000 coins. Uh, this Manuel da Costa at 16K, that has my attention as well. That, that must be a sniper and undercut. But I mean, a lot of these guys, if you're going to do this SBC, I'm assuming it's 84 to 86 rated. Pick up one of these top guys. It's going to save you a lot of money. Or maybe even pick up an 87. Or an, the 88 rated Onana is the cheapest uh, 88 rated TOTS card right now in the game at 35,000 coins, at least on the Xbox. You might be able to slide through with a couple on bids. If he's still cheap when you're watching this video, um, I wouldn't go broke on him, but I think that's a pretty good card to pick up. And as well as some of these lower uh, team this seasons. The ones that are in packs, like the Alba Reich, the Koval, and the Davies. The Davies is actually out of packs. Um, but those guys won't go up as much. Now, maybe if you can find like this Clark guy, uh, 
He was an 84 rated center back that was in packs last week. He got down here to 17,000 coins. That would be a decent price to buy him at 17k for an 84 rated out of packs tots card. That could easily hit 25 uh, or above here in the next couple of days because that's a very good link. And if you need chemistry for this upcoming uh, tots SBC, um, that's where I think you might be able to to make some coins on a card like that. Now. That's a tempting buy for me, that one at 33, because he's so much higher on PS, and I do think he has the potential to rise, but I don't think that's an investment that you want to go nuts on. I've just been collecting this Onana card over the past you know, two or three days. As you can see, I have some Busquets as well, um, but I'm kind of waiting for, uh, again, another high requirement. I'm just waiting for this card to get more rare, and for people to start completing Icon SBCs, uh, which I think they are right now, seeing how high some of these uh, high-rated gold prices are, but that's not their focus right now. So we'll see if we do get more of a repeatable SBC, I think that would, or an 81 plus SBC, I think that would drive people to go out and do more icon SBCs. But I do have a few of these Onanas uh, just because I think it's a good deal. Picking them up at like 33,000 coins is kind of where I've been picking them up. So I wouldn't go crazy on that, but get one in your club, stash it, store it. He has a lot of supply, uh, but he is out of packs. So if there is a high rating requirement, for this SBC. He's either gonna make it very easy for you to do the SBC or he's gonna shoot up a ton and you'll be able to make some profit from that card on the SBC. So hopefully today we do get the league upgrades, the repeatable upgrades. I've been, you know, that's been one of my goals for trading this year is bit to be to be enjoy the promotions along the way. I mean I opened tons of packs for team of the year, for um, FFS, obviously we packed Vinicius for the headliner promotion, didn't get anybody there. Carnival, every promotion that they have had some sort of player pick or upgrade packs from, I've been hitting them because I wanna have fun, enjoy the promotion, try to get some sick cards. But this is the one that I was really focused on and we really need those team of the season or those upgrade packs, the repeatables to come out so that we can fully enjoy this team of the season. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you do have any questions and cross your fingers for a repeatable upgrade SBC coming out today in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoy the channel, smash a thumbs up on it, or a subscription, hit a subscribe, hit the subscribe button, that's what I'm trying to say. But it's been your boy Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.